I don't know whether anybody's ever going to know what makes gay people. But one thing I absolutely know about my body is that in the days when it was capable of being hormonally driven, it had four separate eyes, okay? Two eyes that you look with. A north eye and a south eye are what they're normally called when you're talking in gay parlance. Your south eye, of course, is your bum hole. And you know the movie that I made where I made that wink. But the eye that guides our gay guy is the eye of its cock. And you see with that eye, even, and I think it's got x-ray vision, seeing it's hidden in your trousers, it sees opportunity knocking in the sexual arena virtually whenever it happens. On the bus, in an aeroplane, in a public toilet, on the beach and somehow something happens where it goes, no, the time is right, strike right now. And with incredible vision, um, monocular vision like the eye of the hawk, it hones in on its prey and attacks or receives in a way that I wish still happened to me. It doesn't happen anymore, that's okay. Uh. <laughs> Dear me. <laughs> I don't often get embarrassed, as you know. And the thing about it that's absolutely historically funny, of course you can't live unless you're adept with mouth and tongue as a gay person. Okay? And, um, the, the, you know, I mean, everybody who thinks that mouth just goes mouth or neck or ears or somethings, got it totally and absolutely wrong. Because in the olden days, people would say, what do you eat? And you would absolutely say everything and mean it. Okay? And I am not a foot fairy, but I used to drive people nuts by sucking their toes sucking and nibbling their toes. And quite often when you were in a position where other things were happening at the same time. And it's the whole business of allowing your body to participate in realms of ecstasy. And if you didn't do that, you were absolutely hopeless of sex. Sex every single time, absolutely every, every single time, was a scary but wonderful adventure for me. And if you didn't do that adventuring, you were nuts and you'd missed out until you did it the next time, which might be an hour later or the same day.